criminals and want to urge them to release the 72 hour call that they normally release to have these people arrested within the next 72 hours. Because if you can't arrest them, we risk rendering our country as a lawless institution that anyone can do as they wish. And those that are responsible for this kind of deeds, they must know they can run, they can hide, but we'll find them. And when we find them, the law will be merciless towards them. But we can't tolerate this kind of behavior. And we can't tolerate where people resolve their differences through violence instead of resolving their differences appropriately. So, District Director and Principal, please allow me to go to the family of the learner. Uh, it's still fresh, it's still new, but let's just go there and share our grief with them. And I hope this will be the well, those visuals coming in are there of the MEC of the Department of Basic Education in Gauteng, Banyazali Sufi, addressing, of course, uh, uh, the public there with regards to the incident that occurred just yesterday where a father, uh, or rather a grandfather, who came to the Izubuga Primary School to pick up uh, her grandchild was shot dead, believed to be a part of the Taxi Association. This, of course, resulted in 12-year-old grade 6 pupil also being shot at by a stray bullet and consequently dying today. Banyazali Sufi, the MEC, addressed and a pleading for the 72-hour call to be made to have those who uh, are perpetrators and suspects in this case to be identified and to be, of course, presented to the police. He also promised that the law will be merciless to those found guilty of this tragedy.